Hey guys, Chris, Nichols Retirement Empire. Um, let's continue our uh, North Georgia College. I did my first day of school, first day of college video. So let's do one about the following day. So once they issued me all my uniforms and stuff and put me in a room, introduced me to my roommate, told me we had inspection in the morning at 6.30, <laughs> and I had class at eight. And uh, that was kind of my starting point there. So I had to figure out how to get everything straight in my room, which my roommate helped me with and what uniform to wear the next day and how to put it on and all that kind of junk. So then I discovered, of course, the next day we had inspection, you know, and they'd come in there in your room and you had to be standing at attention by your bed and all this. And they'd check out your uniform and they'd look around the room and you'd hear them down the hallway screaming and yelling at some other guy and he'd just be so nervous. Oh my God, they're gonna come in here. You know. uh, but anyway, we'd have that two or three times a week. And then the other two days, we would have physical training where we would go out there and we had to wear, you know, matching shorts and t-shirts and all this kind of stuff. And we'd go out there and we'd run um, as a company. And it was the same thing every day, you know. And everybody, everybody, ate at the cafeteria. Everybody ate, it was open from six to eight. It was open from 11 to one. And it was open from four to six. And nobody ate anywhere else. I mean, we didn't have any money and, and you didn't have, you know, you couldn't have a car. Your first quarter, you couldn't even have a car there. Eat like crazy. And part of the reason why was you didn't have, you couldn't have refrigerators in your room or anything like that. You really couldn't have any snacks or anything. I mean, there, that was the only time you were gonna eat all day was at the cafeteria. So you ate. And we ate three times a day, as much as we could eat. Had a class at eight o'clock, a class at nine o'clock, and a class at 10 o'clock. Everybody. Because you, you had to be up, so there wasn't any reason to have a late class because you were gonna have to get up at six o'clock. So we'd have all our classes done then everybody would go to the cafeteria for lunch. More rules, more rules. Uh, you had to be in your room, and this was called, um, this was called quarters. Uh, you had to be in your quarters, in your room, every night, like at seven o'clock, and um, you had to stay in there until 11, and then you had 30 minutes where you could be out and you had to be back in at 1130 and lights out was at 12. Now, there's a there's a name for that. It's called false imprisonment. <laughs> but the reason they made us do that was you were supposed to study. I mean, that was supposed to be a time, you know, because you're a freshman, you need to make good grades. So they were going to make sure that you weren't out running around town, you know, going crazy, which you would think, well, how could that? There's nothing there. How could, there was a, you know, people got in trouble. People, got, even with all those restrictions and all those rules, people flunked out, people got arrested, people got kicked out of school for discipline issues. I mean, it was, you know, we got in trouble even with all those restrictions. Cause I mean, you take a bunch of 18, 19, 20 year old guys, that <laughs> something's happening. Something bad is happening. That's just the way it is, you know. You, you, even if you were doing what you were supposed to do, you know, that much time every night, you'd run out of things to do. I mean, we didn't have, you know, remember, you couldn't, I mean, we, we couldn't be playing the stereo or the radio. Uh, we couldn't, you didn't have computers or any of that kind of stuff. So it was like just you and this guy. And, and as it kind of went along, they started letting us like stay in other rooms and stuff. So you might have four or five guys in there. Pretty soon it turned into uh, a card playing time. Uh, we got really good at playing cards. Uh, we'd shine our shoes, stuff like that. You couldn't even make phone calls. I mean, remember you didn't have a one phone in the room and you couldn't make long distance calls. 
unless you were making them collect. So you couldn't like call your friends and stuff, you know, from high school or whatever. I'll tell you what we used to do for you young people. This is this will be an experience. We would sit down and we would get out a piece of paper and we would write, uh, you know, say your friend's name's John. You'd write, Dear John. And then you'd skip a line and you'd say, Today I had a biology test. It was the hardest test I ever took in my life. Uh, I'm meeting all the guys on my floor. You know, I'm in Bravo Company. Uh, there's people here from all over the state. I'm really having a good time. You know, <laughs> you'd write all this stuff out. It's called a letter. A letter. You'd write all this stuff out that you were doing. And at the end, you know, you'd put regards, Chris. And then you put it in an envelope and you'd put their address on it. And you'd go down to the mailbox the next day or the post office the next day on campus. And you'd buy a stamp and you'd put it in the box and then they'd take it to them. And five or six days later, they'd get your letter and they'd read it. That's how we communicated back then. It seems archaic. It seems barbarian to live that way. But that's the way we lived. It was tough times writing letters people had all all their free time was from about 11 o'clock to about 6 6 30 and uh so all these gentlemen 18 19 20 21 years old um if they were going to get drunk that was when they did it that was the time <laughs> so i will never forget my freshman year all these people coming in Six o'clock in the afternoon that first week, just totally drunk. And I'm thinking, how in the world are we supposed to be in here studying? And all these guys are going out getting drunk and coming in here. <laughs> it was the crazy. So, I mean, they would come in, tore up, and then they'd sit down in that chair, seven to 11, try to maintain themselves. So for that first two quarters, every day of my life was the same thing. Get up at six o'clock, have inspection or PT, Go to breakfast, go to class, go to class, go to class, go to lunch, go back to your room, either take a nap or do homework or study or whatever. Then you'd go eat supper. Then, you would come back to the dorms. You'd be in your room and you'd stay in your room and play cards or whatever until 11 o'clock. Then you'd go brush your teeth and everything, take a shower or whatever, and you'd go to bed. Well, there was only certain times of the day where it was kind of okay to play your stereo. And in the morning, when we'd all get up at six o'clock, we had 30 minutes to get ready for inspection. Well, that's when it was okay to play your stereo. So we'd be up there at six o'clock in the morning. And man, these guys that have these stereos just cranked up. <laughs> you couldn't hear yourself do anything. It was crazy. And uh, that was when, uh, that was 1984. So, um, Purple Rain had just come out like that summer or something. Uh, you had about half the guys, that's all they listened to was stuff from Purple Rain. So you had Prince and Morris Day and the Knights and, was that who it was? Morris Day? Is that the right guy? The time? It was the time. It wasn't Morris Day. Morris Day was in Animal House or something crazy. Anyway, the time, I think so it was. I can't remember what that guy's name was. I thought it was Morse, but anyway, you had them, you had that Apollonia, whatever, six or whatever they were, what, whatever they called them. Man, that's all them guys listened to over and over and over. Then you had the other guys that were not swayed by Purple Rain and they all listened to pretty much heavy metal, rock and roll, heavy metal guys. Metallica, all that. 
and you had purple rain. There really wasn't a whole lot in between. <laughs> Apparently, everybody in every room, it seemed like every single person, <laughs> pretty much all cussed every other word, man. I mean, it was just like, <laughs> you know, you can say a sentence without saying four cuss words. You, you know you can do that. Well, in North Georgia College, they didn't know you could do that. It was just one after the other. It was just like, oh, Lord. I hope my mom and dad never come in here. <laughs> you know, it was just like, uh. And, uh, and the other thing that was very popular in the 80s was smokeless tobacco. Everybody in there dipped or chewed. So you couldn't smoke. So you couldn't smoke in the dorms. But you could have smokeless tobacco. So every room you went into, a bunch of guys sitting in there playing cards and spitting in bottles or spitting in spittoons. <laughs> it was the craziest thing. <sighs> and it was like that. It wasn't just like that at North Georgia. I'm, you know, it was real popular at, um, you know, all colleges. I don't know why it was so popular in the 80s. Super popular. Everybody did it. Except the girls, thank God.